What is going on you lot? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel. Today we have a huge, huge game. We're going up against Housted Town away. We've already played them at home earlier on in the season and this is what happened. They're going to look to deliver here on the left foot. Ball comes in. Oh, it's not a bad one. Oh, and it's in the back of the net and how's he been allowed the space there? And it's against the run of play. Jack Harrison, heads it to Richo, goes back to Matt Carter, tries the first time pass to Harry Honesty, who's onside, through on goal, with the keeper, puts in a goal! Dash and Richmond gets the equaliser! Come on! Harry Honesty running forward here with two men around him, but he's dealing with both of them. Left footed pass, across, and it's no gone goal! It's unbelievable! Harry Honesty! Oh my Unreal. God! He is the gift! That keeps on giving, and it might only be September, but it feels like Christmas. But today, it's going to be first v second. This is how the league table is looking like right now. And as I've just said, hashtag United, as you can see, are in first place. And Housted Town are just behind us in second. Here at Housted Town, I have to say, this is a very, very, very nice ground. And I should think so, because soon it's been around since 1879. That is a very, very old club. Decent. So with it obviously being first feet second, I think it should be a pretty highly attended game, but I don't think it's going to beat their highest attendance of 4,000. That is ridiculous, but nevertheless, let's get on with today's video. Right, so me and Daniel have some very important news, don't we, Dan? Yes. And what is that? We have a new hashtag United website. Oh my God, the scenes we've teamed up with the people at Football Fancast, and we have our own website. It has what, Daniel? Play profiles, team news, Fun facts, mate, check it out. The league table and all that sort of banter. But I tell you what, the one thing that I'm enjoying the most is the fun facts. There's three facts in there, and I'm actually going to ask a few people about them today. Check the links in the description. Check out our website now. So you know we have player profiles on the Hashtag United new website. Yes, we do. Your one says you can pick your nose with your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. I actually made a video yesterday and sent it to my friends because they didn't believe me. Well, you have to show the people at home. Oh. oh my god, L's! That's dirt! <laughs> <laughs> at least it's true. At least, at least you're not lying. I didn't lie, I didn't lie. <laughs> I'm reading on the player profiles that one of your fun facts is that he's your hero. He is my hero, yeah. He's <laughs> just a legend, isn't he? He's got so is much. Is he your hero? He's got so much dough, it's unreal. So you've actually scored and assisted a goal at Barcelona's home ground, Camp Nou. Yes, I indeed. Can you confirm that fact? I indeed scored. Um, a quite beautiful goal. Um, I also assisted. Um, was it a tapping? No, no, no. We don't do tapping. <laughs> you don't do tapping no more, yeah? And what's your other fact, Dan? Tell um, the people yeah. at home. So, once upon a time, um, the Jose Mourinho called me the special one. Mourinho called you the special yeah, one? My mum told me I was special, but like, to hear it from someone else, yeah. What, so it's not special coming from your mum? Yeah, it was, it was special. Shout out Mumsy and that mother's doing <laughs> that. Like, what's one of your facts that you put on the website? Um, the one about a, 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 no, 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 we, we don't care about that one. <laughs> <laughs> so you played for England school boys, right? That's a really good fact. Uh, what's the fact? Is um, a certain artist that you've dated? Or were you on a TV show, was that? Um. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, don't run, H. A pussycat doll, not Nicole. You, da you dated a pussycat doll? One of the pussycat dolls. You know what? Content, comment below who you think it will be. Oh, hey, look, Ricky's got waves in his hair. <laughs> for the culture. You're a do yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of your facts is that you're the hairiest player at Hashtag United. Yeah, you want proof? Can you show me? Now go around to all of them and tell me who's got hair that goes all the way up. Sorry, come here. You got hairy chest? Rick, come in. Yeah. It's all, all under there. Nothing there. See? Just zero, zero hair. Should we? I'm fair here though. Yeah, yeah you're, you're a joke. Go ask him how tall he is. <laughs> oh, Faz. What, How tall did you say you were on your player? Six foot two. Six foot two? Yeah. Right, just a sec, Lou. I'm 5'10. He's 5'10. Hold it a minute. So you're 5'10, I've got to be 6'2. Oh, you're 6'4. Six, six, uh, six, <laughs> you're not 6'2. <six>, <laughs> <two. laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> Go on, you need a chat, bro. Because look, the camera is right in front of us. The now. camera doesn't lie, the proof bro. is in the pudding. Look, okay, all right, all right. You're I'm, currently I'm six foot five, man. Five. Bro. Okay, so how? You're not He's got the ultra boost on as well, innit? Shout out Adidas. Time, time out, time out, time out. You've got stilettos as well, big man. Okay, cool. Let's take them off. <laughs> take them off then. <laughs> don't mind the hole. Don't mind the hole. Hey, what's that? Don't mind the hole. No, you're not tip joke. No, you're not tip joke. You're doing that Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo thing. Hey, it's not one of them things there. Oh, LP, Neil, you see this? 
Next training session, I'm bringing in a specialist. We have to bring a met like an actual yeah, tape measure. I mark my words here. Yeah. Next training session, as long as I don't forget, I'm bringing a tape measure. Bring fully. it in. I'll fully bring I'm it. Confident we'll do, as hell. We'll do the conversion, six, yeah, and we'll see if you're actually six two. Couple of changes today, devs. Um, from starting eleven last week, just the one. Uh, he's in folks. Uh, Ped's, Ped's misses out. He's, he's got a groin injury, which uh, has ruled him out for today. We're not sure how long he'll be. He'll be, he'll be out. Um, so Kane will just slot in at right back. He obviously, he's um, something he's done plenty of times for this season. He's done really well, uh, so that's not a problem. Um, don't expect it to affect anything that we do. Other than that, we're the same starting eleven. Um, Gleed is recovered from his little niggle he picked up last week. Um, and then on the bench, uh, Tashan Richmond's back in on the bench, he's involved today, and Stampy comes in obviously as a defensive cover on the bench there. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're the couple of changes for us this week. Lewis, you need to score, you need to do the name well, okay? He's got that. Hey! <laughs> Banger! I'll tell you what, bring him in for my penalties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you missed your one of your yeah, penalties. <laughs> Joshua steps up. He's going. He's going Take bottom it. left. Oh, oh he's too gone much in. Go, get him out What we know about them is that they're on a terrific run of form. They're obviously going ever so well in the league. It's up to us and what we do. And it'll only be a big game if we don't do our job. And I know there's people smiling around about it, but it is the absolute truth. It's the absolute truth. Uh, because nothing gets won today. It's a bit of a, bit of a cliche, but once you go out there today, once you cross that line, there's not a lot any of the rest of us can affect. So play with confidence, play with belief and determination. All the, act all the things that have got, have made us successful, all the things that have won us games. We know how to win games of football. But just make sure we, we work as hard as we've ever worked in our lives to come away with three points today. All over, don't get frustrated. Don't get frustrated at mistakes. Don't get frustrated at missed chances. Don't get frustrated at missed opportunity. Don't give up on anything. Let's get ready. Let's get your music on. Let's get in the, in, in the mood. Get in the Let's go, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hashtag United League game. It doesn't get much bigger than this. It's first versus second. We're first. Holstead Town are in second. We're here at Rosemary Lane, home of Holstead Town. This is not just first versus second. It's the best two teams on form currently over the last nine games or ten games or so in the league. Hashtag have won nine games in a row. Holstead have won nine of their last ten. Okay, this is big. It could be, well, it will be huge in the title race, whatever happens in this game. A win or even a draw for Hashtag is brilliant, to be honest. A loss for Hashtag and a win for Holstead would put Holstead way back in it. There's a six-point gap between the two teams at the moment. However, they have got a game in hand on us. So if they were to win this and then win that game in hand, we'd be level on points. Joining me for this monumental game is none other than Daniel Adji. Adji, what are you thinking? Um, absolute pleasure to be here. Um, yeah, big game. But as Dev says already, um, we take each game by... Um, as it comes. As it comes. Yep. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. Go out there with the boys. Hopefully get the three points. It's going to probably be the toughest test of the season so far, not just because of the opponents, but because of the enormity of the game and what it means to hashtag, what it means to did as well. They're taking it seriously. We've got an amazing crowd here. I'd say 500 plus people who've come to watch hashtag versus Halstead. Should we take a look at the team? Adjie? 100%. Let's go with it. Okay. In goal for hashtag is, of course, Jamie Jackson. In defence, we've got Tom Williams, Jack Harrison, Fryce Ngano and Kane Brogan. In centre midfield, we've got Ricky Evans and Ross Gleed. Attacking on the left, we've got Triple H, Harry Honesty. On the right, Ryan Adams. Down the middle, Albie Keith. And up front, top goal scorer, Neil Richo Richmond. On the bench, that leaves Marcus Stamp, Gabe Kellum, Lee Hurstit, Charlie Morley and Tashan Richmond, who scored a goal for us last time we played Halstead in a 2-1 victory. Chris Harris is going to get us underway for Halstead Town here in the black and white strips up against the yellow and blue of Hashtag United. Let's hope for a good game. Let's hope for a big game. And we're underway. And it is the captain who sprays it over to top goal scorer Jordan Pavitt straight from kickoff. Good little kickoff from uh, Halstead. And a resting match between the number 10 and Jack Harrison. Halstead looking very strong here for the start. Whipping that ball in towards the box, which Kane heads away. Thought Jacko might have come for that. And it's a decent start from Halstead Town. Jacko's going to send this one forward. Richo up against the Halstead defender. Number 10 there wins the header, Joe Morris. There's been a few fouls already in this game. Another one here. Given against Kane Brogan this time. Okay, free kick basically on the halfway line. Tom Williams to take it. Second top assister in the season with 10 assists now. Puts his hand in the air and puts it in towards the back post. Jack Harrison's there. 
Headed away by Halstead, only as far as Ross Gleed. It's on the right one flag. Nil and it's deflected in. What a, and that is not, oh, it's an offside flag. There is an offside flag. And I think it's been ruled out. And Richo's run over to him. The ref's not going to enjoy that. It obviously was deflected. So who was the offside given against if, if it touched a Halstead player? Oh. Richo's received a booking probably for dissent, I think. Oh. Arguing with the officials, but... If the ball came off a hashtag player, offside would be given. If Fair it's off enough. a Holstead player, yeah. it's, it's a goal. It's 100 we, goal. we haven't got the benefit of a replay here, but hashtag players are very sure it was a Holstead deflection. Faryce Ngana just holding up his man here, sending him back. Whip team, Kane Brogan gets a touch on it. Headed down to the captain now, number eight, who's going to look to deliver on the left foot. And it's a massive chance for Halstead. Wow. Missed an absolute sitter. We've been let off there. Really needs to find the target there. And if he did, I think it's a goal because Jacko would have struggled to save that one at point blank range. Hurry wins the header. Richo helps it on. Big header from the, the big centre back. Ross Glee's gone to ground. It looks like he might have hurt his back there. But Ryan Adams is going to carry on with the ball on the right side. Oh. Ross Glee's still down. It's a heavy touch by Ryan and a heavy tackle after that. Ross Glee is up and he's a yellow card for Ryan. So two hashtag United players on yellow cards, Dan. And it's bounced the wrong side of Jack Harrison now. And now Farai's got some work to do, but of course he does that work brilliantly. And now Harry Honesty could counter-attack for hashtag. Oh, I love that. Sends it down the left for Albie Keith to chase. Oh, it's oh, a late rip. tackle by the five. And that's got to be a card as well. Because Albie Keith's away. And number five, Connell Dunlop has taken him out. Sorry, from the first stride, you could tell he was never getting near that ball. No, the ref's got to even it up here. Yeah. Hey. So here's a yellow card for the centre-back, Dunlop. Shame, though, because I'd like to see how that attack had worked out. We had a, a numbers advantage there. He's going to send it down towards the right of uh, Halstead. Ross Glee, though, wins the header. Ricky Evans tries to flick wow. it down the line. Instead, kicks it for himself, and now he's trying to find Harry Honesty on the left side. A miss hit turned into something, hopefully. Harry up against Dunlop, the man who's got a yellow card now. So he needs to be careful. Harry works his way past him. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a better tackle that time from Dunlop, and it had to be good because he is on that yellow. Tom Williams puts it back on his right foot, looking for Richo. Richo goes down, gets a free kick for hashtag in a very good area, Dan Aji. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, this is the area we really want to be in. Both standing over it. Tom Williams hits it! Wow! Oh, what a goal! And it's in! What a and goal! Tom Williams makes it two what free kicks goal. for the season. Oh, my what a goodness. Hit, Dan what a hit. That wand of a left foot from Tom Williams. Absolute class. And Halstead get us back underway, finding themselves 1-0 down here at home against Hashtag United in this huge, huge title clash. Tom Williams with adrenaline running through him wins the header. Jack Harrison oh, sends it long. Richo, Richo he's onside and he's going to chase it. Albie Keith's made it into the box. Lovely hold back up to Triple H, who gets in front of his defender, fizzes it across. Ryan Adams, Adams takes a touch, oh. hits it. It's deflected. Richo trying to keep it alive. Oh, I love this Ross football. Gleed. I love this football from Hashtag. Oh, and everyone wants to shoot right now. Ricky oh. Evans tries one. Halstead clear it. Very, very manic at the back from Halstead. You know, he's an original and he's a vice captain. And I love his work rate, but I can't help but thinking that Ryan Adams could be an obvious choice for first substitute of this game, second half, just because he's got that yellow card. You know, he, okay, maybe he didn't have the best touch there, but that's not hugely important. He's putting in a good work rate. Yeah. He has got to be careful there. He's done another very, tackle 100%. there. 100%. And there's a little bit of afters here. There's, there's no need for this beef. There's a lot at stake. And now in Ross Glee might be picking up a yellow card as well, which is not what we want to see. These yellow cards could hurt us. You know, not just because of this game, but also future games. We can't, if we don't want to get someone banned. And it is another yellow, this time for Ross Glee. It's going to be whipped in on the left foot. It's going to fall in a good area. Jacko's come and got it. He's gone to ground. And the ref's not given a free kick. Luckily, it was cleared by a hashtag player and the blushes were spared and Richo sends this in a great area for Harry Honesty to chase now up against number two who can't stop the run of Harry Honesty the left back's come across to help wow oh, he's put in a bad wow. area for the keeper LB Keith closed it down and it's all kicking off here in I'm this sorry. game between Halstead and hashtag they can't handle the Jack speed. Harrison's got to deal with this and that's good from Jack heading it back oh, to skipper absolute class Jack Harrison the absolute legend to LB Keith Albie heads it to Ross Gleed. Ross Gleed put it in a great area for Harry Honesty to run at if he can keep it in. 
Which oh, he has done. lovely. Now, does he deliver? He goes inside to Ross Gleed. What's Ross Gleed going to do? Goes onto his right foot. Tries to hit it. 2-0. Oh. Cleared by the defender. LB Keith closes it down. Harry Honor Steve bangs it on the outside of his foot. The ref is playing on here. And Harry's kept it on. He's passed again inside to Ross Gleed. This attack's still going. Ross Gleed working it in towards Richo's head. Oh, Who swats it on the left foot. And he can't keep it down, but was there a headed opportunity for him before that, Dan? Uh, chances go a begging. Albie Keith down for the second time in this yeah, game. I'm quite concerned with that. This one was more of a block, I think. He tried to stop their clearance and took a hit in the process. No free kick was given, but he's obviously hurt. Chance for Halstead to deliver. It's a good ball, but Jacko watches it Jacko. all the way. Collects it. The and there's scariest the whistle. man in football. Love so, that. half time, 1 0 to Hashtag United away against Halstead Town, thanks to a brilliant free kick to Tom Williams. Daniel Aji, what are your main reflections on that half? Yeah, um, just a, tenor, a really cagey start at the beginning, but we grew into the game. We took our chance. That wand of a left foot from Tom Williams has got us 1 0 up. A word of advice to the rest of the teammates just keep our heads going forward. We're, we're 1 0 up. We don't need to panic. Just, to see out the game. We just need to see this out from here and it will be a very, very big result in Hashtag United's history. 45 massive minutes to come. Let's see what Devs has to say. On the whole, you've been very good. But it's good with a lot of buts. A lot of but could do betters. Yeah, things we can improve on. We're giving too many free kicks away that are allowing deliveries into the box. Far too many. And it's because we're not quite anticipating the bounce of the ball. We're a little bit slow to react. It's particularly early on particularly early on. As wonderful a finish and free kick it is, it comes from playing early with pace. You play in and your touch is brilliant, you get them on the half turn. And the reason being is if we play those punchy passes in with pace, they're not reacting. They're not recovered quick enough. You look a threat, you look like you're gonna score. We should have scored, you know, we've had a perfectly good goal disallowed. Right, we've had other chances, we look like we're going to score the ball, they panic when it goes into their box. Just go and gamble and then a little bit of information because he's got all the time in the world and he doesn't know it. No, I know, but it's all the time in the world and it, but he doesn't know. So it's about helping each other out. There's a long, long, long way to go here, a long way to go, right? They're going to be getting, it'll be getting into them a little bit because they look shell-shocked and they, you've got to expect a reaction got to expect a reaction. What we do on the ball dictates as to how much we allow them to react. Yeah? It's cool heads, cool heads, Every, especially those carrying bookings, some silly bookings in there. Keep 11 on the pitch, keep 11 on the pitch. 833 people here we've heard at half time. It's a great turnout for Halstead Town. No changes made at the break. Dev's just asking the boys to keep their heads. Obviously, those three yellow cards, a little bit of a concern. Ryan Adams, Richo and Ross Gleed, the three R's, all booked. The skipper heads it back. Nine just shoulders that one across to Miller, the number six. And that's a decent pass in a good area towards Pavit on the right side. Pavit's touch is decent. Whips it in low towards the 10. And that is a What an absolute chance. sitter. Tom Williams throws it back to Ricky Evans. He's got time to take a touch and whip it in here. It's exactly what he's going to try and do. Looking for Albie Keith. It's going to come all the way across to Ryan Adams, who's onside. Oh, wow. Ow. Number three is coming oh, through the back of him there. That's very, very He bad. had to go through the player. It's Absolutely a definite foul. Awful. And it's a definite book him. His feet were off the ground. Wow. So it does mean that they've got a couple of defenders on yellows now. And it is... Uh, it is the left back, Charlie, uh, Liam Whips, sorry. Uh, I never want to see people get sent off, but that was reckless, uncontrolled. In the middle of the pitch now, still on the ball, with a right-footed pass to an offside player. Good flick, good header, but it's not going to count. It is in the back of the net, but it is offside. I feel like the openings um, will come from the flanks, which is why bringing on the option like a Tashan might might give that that new passage of attack. Ball in for Halstead, it's a great header! Oh my God! Tom what a Williams. clearance from Tom Williams! With a flying! That's overhead kick off the line from a 39-year-old man. I, I, I've just seen an elephant fly. <laughs> I'm not sure what Jacko did. 
That is a fourth yellow card for Hashtag now. Jacko's got one. We're, we're absolutely mounting them up here. I think he maybe he kicked the I think he maybe kicked the goal kick while the sub was being done. I'm not sure. Still Jake Brown trying a little pass into 11. Kane Brogan gets a good touch on it. Albie Keith, high foot I thought there. Ref says no. He's going to go across to number 11. Who puts the left foot swipe on it? Jacko watches it all the way, but that had me nervous, Dan. Jacko, absolute class there. Safety first. The hands. We're going to see Tashan Richmond make his first appearance in quite a while for Hashtag. I think last time we saw him was in the friendly against Hornchurch. We got injured in the snow. And it, Tashan did score against Halstead last time we played them at our place. And he's coming on for Ryan Adams now. Free kick for Halstead. Just over 10 minutes left. Halstead delivered the ball. Jacko's come and looked at it. He's got a hand to it. Oh, my God. Maybe misjudged it. His hand was enough to put it off for a corner. But, wow. It is squeaky bum time here at Rosemary Lane. Looked like a foul to me. There's a couple of ducks on the pitch. And they weren't running away from the ball, even though it came on the pitch. Tasha Richmond gets through here. Tries to find Albie Keith first time. The ducks are still on the pitch. Albie Keith is trying to avoid them. Free kick given for a foul against the ducks. No. The Ducks are still on, guys. Duck watch is real. It's now. It's happening. Very interesting substitution there. Lee Hersett coming on with about eight minutes to go for Triple H, who's not booked, but maybe just going to try and shore up the midfield, push Albie out to the left. Kane up against the captain here. He's going to whip it in. But for Isengardo, misses his clearance. Jack Harrison gets something on it. Oh, it needs to be cleared, boys. Jacko with a massive save. What a save from Jamie Jackson. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cat like reflexes. 40 years old. You're having a laugh. Unbelievable you're save. Having after a laugh. Both for right and Jack failed to clear the ball. That could be the moment of the season if we see this one out. Tash, Tash Richmond now can get away from his man. Run, Tashan. Run like the wind, my son. Run, Forrest. Run. There'll be a foul. It'll foul you. Just hold on to it, Tashan. It's two of them. He's showing one to eight and to seven. The captain, Jake Brown and Jordan Pavitt, picking, them up, picking themselves up yellow cards. That's six players. Sorry, five players for Halstead on yellow cards now. Charlie Morley coming on for Neil Richmond for the remainder of this game. Gets a big cheer from the crowd. There's about four minutes left here. Flicked on by Harris. Kane Brogan gets an important touch. Captain Jake Brown takes it down in front of Charlie Morley. Plays a good pass into Pavitt. Halstead trying to make it happen in the last few minutes here. Ball in towards Harris, back to Pavitt. Good football, but Pavitt's pass was loose. <laughs> and Jacko's just let that one go past him, acrobatically, theatrically. Start the whistles going. Charlie Morley throws it to Tashan, short. Tashan needs to use all his strength just to hold this ball up. With two shirts oh, around him, he gets that. past them both. Love Tashan that. Richmond trying to do a step over here. Keep the oh, ball, it's fantastic that. from Tashan, it really is. Holding off three of them there. Trying to get the free kick, but now it comes to Charlie Morley. Charlie Morley unable to cushion it out. Halstead with the throw in, but Tashan's done wonders oh, there. Oh, that was absolute class. I told you about his footwork. Big man, wonder feet. Jack Cherry with the free kick here for Halstead. Can't be long left referee. Ross Gleed gets a massive touch on it. Ross for Gleed. Goes back to whips. Tashan, don't let him out. Well, that is, that's a bad tackle from Tashan. Ref, I don't think the ref was going to book him, but I think the crowd have forced it. And he's going to give a yellow. Whips is staying down, playing this one out for time. It is a yellow card for Tashan. A draw might still not be enough, but they're going to try and get it. Cherry puts it in. Headed onwards by Harris. And the ref blows the final whistle. And that is a huge, huge three Come points on. for Hashtag United. Come on, boys. Surely that ends Halstead's town's Come on, chance boys. of winning this league and puts Hashtag in a great position, Dan wow. Aji. Wow, guys, we stuck in there. We got the result. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Have you got a man of the match, Dan? My man of the match today has to be Tom Williams for that left foot wonder of a strike. The on-goal line clearance, he was top class today. Yeah, Tom Williams, huge. Just Not just a free kick, of course. The clearances, a number of deliveries, tackles. But the defence was solid. A clean yeah. sheet against a team of Halstead's quality is superb. Three huge points. Nothing is mathematically done. But I don't deal in mathematics. I don't deal in science. I deal in feelings, Dan. I feel like we might have just done what we need to do to win this yeah, league I, title. I, I, I smell it. I smell it coming, Spence. One nil, one nil results are a sign of champions. It's a sign of champions. And that's two in a row. Two in a row. That's ten 
10 wins in a row in the league for Hashtag United. Eight clean sheets from our last 10 games. Superb. It's a championship feeling. Come on, guys. Daniel Radji, thank you for joining me. There's still no what Devs have to say after that huge, huge victory. Yes! Yes! Yes, Jacko! What to say? Big win! Big win! What to say? Get in! I'm up there! Magnificent. Um, because it's about the result. We don't get carried away. I hate to be a killjoy. We've still got a lot of work to do. We really have. We've got a lot of work to do, more than you would believe. Um, the resilience you've shown, and I'm using that word a lot the last few weeks, all right, but the resilience you've shown, because you expected them to come back, you expected them to be better second half, and they were, and they were a handful. Um, we defended it absolutely brilliantly, and it was a typical end the season game and it's about that 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 will and that management and being prepared to to do things that are a little bit alien to you and I look at you and you've you've been patient Kane you've been and I know you've been moved out the side and, and and you've had and you've come back in and after 10 minutes I'm looking and I'm thinking God I don't know what day of the week it is you're brilliant absolutely magnificent mate honestly that that because I think you'd admit it was a wobbly start for you. You, you know, it's right, and it was 100 miles an hour, and you get the whack on the head, and you right. to come through that takes so much character and mental strength to do that because you're a young player and you're not used to playing these types of games, these types of atmospheres, and, and what maybe is at stake. And, and you'll get better for that. You'll, you'll grow from that. And I look at the young players that have not been used to it, and you, you dealt with it magnificently supported by the experience. As ever, we enjoy today's win. Right, we celebrate as we celebrate every win. And no more, no more than that. We, we come in to training on Tuesday and we prepare for next week's game. And we prepare in the right way. We ensure that we just keep rolling. That's all we can do, that's all we can do. It wasn't a big game today, and, and I'm delighted about it. Because if it had been, we'd have been disappointed with the result. <coughs> Boys, well done. Well done. Right, gents, for Isengano, Tom Williams here for Riot. A huge win. Huge win. What was that like? Unbelievable. I can't really say too much. Big games, big players, and that's what we did. We stepped up. There was 800 and something fans today. I can't. Over the moon, honestly. And uh, we've got Tom Williams here. Of man of the match, um, it goes without saying, incredible free kick and an incredible goal line clearance. How did you pull that clearance out of the bag? Uh, to be honest, didn't really know much about it. Followed the defender in, uh, Jacko crying like a girl, he thought he was going in. Um, but do you know what, regardless of goal and man of the match, we're not an 11, we're not 16, we're a big family. And honestly, I just said to Devs in the change room there, I can't believe some of the things we're getting out of players that I never thought we'd get out of and the things they're doing. And honestly, every person that was on the pitch for a single minute has done everything we could have asked for. Honestly, it's absolutely brilliant. And yes, guys, this is where the video is going to come to an end. I tell you what, I'm having to sit down purely because that was just, it was just too much. Too much to watch. We had the clearance. We had the ah. Oh, it was just the Jacko save. It had absolutely everything, and the attendance was over 800. So big shout out to everyone that came. Your support is much appreciated. You know, seeing you guys here out in force really does mean so much to us, and it does not go unnoticed. However. This is where Hashtag United are currently sitting in the league. And yes, as you can see there, that is Hashtag United still sitting at the top. And I say this every week, but every game is so important. And we have three games left now. And it is, you know, it's not done. You know, we haven't won the league yet. Not at all. All still to fight for. Every game is important. The next game we have is against Braintree Town Reserves. We played them away earlier on in the season, but we're playing them at home on the 6th. All the information you can find can be found where? on our socials and in the description. But guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like. Subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell. And as always, don't forget the hashtag it. <laughs>